Hey, welcome to Living the Dream with MS. Today's word of the day is tinnitus. Ooh, sounds like a cool, fun word. Sounds interesting. Has a little ring to it. Ha, get it? Ring. Tinnitus means ear ringing. Ear ringing is that, that noise in the background most people have experienced at least once in their life, maybe a really loud uh, concert, maybe just a loud room, maybe um, maybe you banged your head. Um, there are a lot of things that can create uh, tinnitus, but that is what it is. Um, I bring it up because a lot of people with MS suffer from tinnitus. I have suffered from tinnitus for at least 10 years, every single day, but it has gradations like many, thing, many other things with MS. Um, when I am extremely fatigued or stressed, tinnitus tends to kick itself up and become louder. When it becomes louder, conversations around me become muddled. It becomes difficult to understand, not necessarily hear, but understand people. And I find myself getting louder to overcompensate for that ringing. Um, it is a neurological thing where the MS is attacking the auditory nerves and it creates this sensation. So there's not too, too much that you can do to treat it. I've tried many different homeopathic and other things, but it is what it is. For the most part, it's, it's, it's easily accommodated, um, you know, six days out of the week or whatever, 28 days out of the month. It's a low roar and it's something that I can manage. A day like today, it's a little bit more difficult because it's much louder, so I tend to be much louder. Um, and I also have a hard time hearing the people who are talking to me or following them, I guess I should say. So that is a challenge. And it's a unique challenge with an MS symptom because it's a symptom that many, many people that are perfectly healthy have experienced due to just environmental factors, like I said, loud noises or whatnot. But now, if you've experienced it, you can think about it and envision what it would be like to live with that every single day. Um, it is one of the challenges, but in the, the hierarchy of MS challenges, I put it on the lower one, uh, more under the classification of annoying. Uh, but it's one that a lot of people don't realize that I deal with. It's a lot, one that a lot of people did, wouldn't even know was an MS symptom. So I figured where I'm dealing with it a little bit elevated today, I would share. I would share about that. Um, otherwise, it's okay. You know, I've been fatigued, as I've said many times before. But as the fall settles in, my body will get a little bit better. And the, the, the more peaceful or almost dormant part of the disease will come up as generally it does in the fall and winter when it's nice and cool and um, not up and down with the weather. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I also want to share my excitement and wish my wife tomorrow a happy 20th anniversary. She's been through a lot with me over the last 20 years. This disease has done it's, it's best to both of us, to my body, and to many other things. And so I'm eternally grateful that I have her love and support. And I look forward to another 20 plus years. That being said, I'm going to keep living the dream with MS.